I am um, sporadically working on on a book. Not sure if I want to divulge the title. The title is everything for this book. In fact, it almost doesn't need anything but the title. But I can say that when people put it down, they won't be able to say what the book was about. It won't be able to be captured in that way. Similar to a fairy tale, actually. You know, when when people protest against fairy tales or other true stories, like Shakespeare's stories, these are true stories. They're not factually, objectively true, but they are, they, they, they carry truth. You can't change the story. If you change the story, it's no longer true. True stories are beyond what the, the meanings that we can assign to them. If you could reduce, you know, say one of Grimm's fairy tales to a moral, if you could fully capture it by saying what it is about, then you wouldn't even need the story to begin with. Stories communicate something that cannot be otherwise communicated with words. The book that I am writing aspires to also be that. You can't summarize it. If you could summarize it, then why not just publish the summary? When, you know, people, when they put down the book, they might not be able to say what it was about, but there will be images that linger uh, and phrases that linger that will have a psychological effect on them. The same way that, that you know, you read uh, 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 a fairy tale, the, the images, like for some reason, you read that fairy tale, you read it when you're a little kid maybe, and the images stay with you the rest of your life. Now, how does that happen compared to the garbage that passes across our screens, that, that you know, moves through Hollywood, that was concocted uh, without a source, without a, a, a through line to the source of stories. But yeah. it's just kind of uh, yeah. a reconfiguration of, you know, some committee reconfigures whatever story elements are available, you know, and these are not true stories in the way that, you know, the elves and the shoemaker is an absolutely true story or how the Grinch stole Christmas mm. is a true story. Like there's something about it that that is beyond any moral that you can make of it. That's beyond mm. even the understanding of the person who wrote it. It is the living story. And when, when the writer is faithful to the story, he is the scribe of the story. And he can recognize what is in the story and what isn't in the story. It yeah. feels jarring to try to put something into the story, maybe in order to satisfy the censors, maybe yeah. in order to, to satisfy the critics, maybe in order to conform to whatever intellectual fad is current. You know, you put something in and it just doesn't feel like it belongs there. Because mm -hmm. as an esthete, as a storyteller, you recognize what is there, what belongs, what, what doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. And if you are true, and, and faithful to the story, you will write it down, you will tell it as it is, mm. as it was meant to be told, you will be in truth. That's why I say that, that, that these are true stories, because whoever, and it may not be one author, I mean, a lot of these stories evolved, co-evolved with culture, and, you know, developed through the, through the mouths of many storytellers, and took on a life of their own. And, you know, you can uh, degrade the story by telling it disrespectfully. Or you can even help the story evolve. Because as yeah. living beings, stories can take on new dimensions. They can grow.